Hi everyone, this is Carolina here and today I want to show you how to create um, a puzzle activity for your students. Um, this is uh, something that I do a lot with my kids. Um, usually um, in Spanish we use it a lot to practice vocab and over the years I spent a lot of time cutting a lot of these. Uh, but now with everything that's going on and being remote as well as, you know, being safe with COVID and uh, being able to share things, um, I was thinking I'd create maybe a digital version of this. So, um, and you know, kind of the way that it would end up looking like would be like this, uh, and the kids will have to put it together. Um, so the way to do this, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna create a square. So to do that, you're gonna insert a table. It's an easier way to do it. Uh, so you could just decide how big you want it to be. And then here, just adjust this to make it the size that you want. And then uh, what you wanna do maybe is um, create an outline and the color you want, it should just do black. Um, just a little more. Uh, so then this will be your squares. Um, and then what I end up doing is I am going to add a text box, which is where I'm gonna add the writing. Over here, I would type in a Spanish class. Casa. Um, now you could do this where you're just practicing um, vocab. So you just have a house here. Or uh, you can look up a picture of a house and add that there. Um, I did that mainly because I want actually the kids to not have any of English. So I just wanted them to match with the picture. Um, and um, if when you go to adding um, a text box for the side, you're just going to rotate it with this. I'm just gonna change it so then it's this way. Um, so that's kind of how I went about uh, doing all of these. And, um, you know, you just go through it. Uh, and once you set it up, then if you ever wanna make another one, just copy um, it and it's just typing the words. So it gets easier once you have it set up. Uh, and I'll share this template with you guys. Okay, so once I do that, um, there's two ways that you can make it into the cards. So the first way is you can actually um, take a screenshot of each square. So to do that, um, I use this snip snippet tool. So if you have PC, it's different. Uh, so the snippet tools for PC and the Mac, um, I think there's a way to make a screenshot. Um, I think it's con uh, command shift four possibly. Um, but anyway, so you're gonna copy this into another slide, uh, but you just have to make sure you're adjusting uh, the, sh the, the shape of it. Um, an easier way to do that part, uh, once you screenshot all of them, um, but you have to, again, make sure they're all the same size. Um, you could just select them all at the same time and do that. Um, and another thing with this screenshot, once you do that, you might want to select all and add a border frame around them. So it just looks a little bit nicer, easier for them to match it. Um, okay, so that's one way. Another way is that you can um, take a screenshot of the whole square and we're actually going to shift over to powerpoint um i have to tell you i'm a little rusty with powerpoint but i will do my best i'm sure there may be even a better way to show this um so once you get your screenshot uh, this is mine here i took before you are going to want to um create a text box frame um that lines up for all of them so just to show you an example, so it's gonna look like this. Um, and a little bit, this is a little tedious, and I, like I said, I'll share this with you guys, but um, once you do it once, it's just easier. Uh, so you would just go to insert, and again, I'm sure there's an easier way to do that. <laughs> um, and you're gonna make your text box. And um, really important, I would make sure that you outline this, 
to a maybe a four or no you know what let's do two, three um and i'll show you why in a second but okay so then you create them all and set them up or you just use the template i give you um to kind of make sure it matches but overall to just make sure it makes the shape of a square and uh you can always adjust it after so i have my template here so these are all the boxes that i set up and then i'm going to put the uh, screenshot on top of it. Now this part is a little tricky. You want to make sure that it's like lined up as perfectly as you can. Make sure that it's touching the the corners here. Uh, and just because of time, I am just going to um, just make sure that I lined up this one over here. Show you. So then you are going to select everything, all of the squares. To do that again, you just drag, uh, click and drag, and then you're gonna go here to Format and Merge Shapes. Oh, see, I missed one. Try that again. So again, I thought this was like the tricky part here, but um, let's try it one more time. Ah, Format, this Format, one on the left. Oh, it keeps missing that one. I'm not sure why. That's really annoying. Hold on, let me try this. Oh, okay. This is the other one that I lined up properly. Okay. So, format, merge shape, and there we are. So, um, it's going to be fragment. And when you do that, so then you have this. So, you can uh, it separate the shapes. Um, so what I did then, because I wanted this in uh, Google Slides, I then went to, um, oh, no, that's this one, just kidding, this one. Um, I went to my drive and then I just uploaded the slide. So just do file upload. Um, you find a slide that you save and then you upload it. Uh, so when it, when you open it, it should open in a Google Slide. Like I'm sending me, and uh, that's it. And then you can just take it apart and set it up for your students. So you can just rotate it. Um, those lines that you saw here in the back, um, you just get rid of those. You just that's just like leftover of the outline. Um, so you just delete those. But this is just another way that you do that. Uh, so you can choose either way what's best for you. Um, and like I said, I'll share with you guys the template and uh, you can just use that if you like and just create your own. So, okay. So I hope this was helpful. Um, like I said, I know that I, um, over the years, just uh, making all of these and cutting them and the kids really liking this activity. Um, this is something that I wanted to try to do. And uh, you can share it with the kids. Make sure they get each get a copy because they want to make sure that they can edit. And you could even have them do this um, together as a group. Um, depending on the age, if when you share it with them, uh, maybe just keep them straight if they don't know how to do that. Um, if they know how to handle um, Google Slides a little bit better, you can rotate it and just kind of make it a little challenging for them. Um, but it's up to you. So that's it guys, hope this helps. Um, don't, I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, if you want, I also have a, a Facebook group that I started, you can feel free to join. And that's it.